Hey guys, there's a nice sunset here. Lots of glory on that sunset there. Lots of glory on you guys. Happy glory. Happy honey glory. Of Abba Jesus and Holy Spirit. And uh, yeah, that's why I'm making this video because I want you guys to uh, be high all the time on Jesus. I'm sure most of you are, but what has been keeping me high, and I believe what keeps everyone high, is the living revelation that Jesus gives us of who he is and who his happy father is, you know, and Holy Spirit, that they're actually happy. They're a happy God. They're a happy honey God of love. And we're made in their image and they're in us. And there's like this like thing I want to talk about too is like, you know how there's strongholds, right? Like a fortress around a city. It's like a stronghold. Well, there's something in the Bible called a, a stronghold of the mind. You know, there's bad strongholds that you can have around your mind. You know, your mind's like kept in this like cocoon of like negativity sometimes. But there can also be a heavenly stronghold. A stronghold of love is what I want. What I, what I want to talk about is it's like when we know that we're one with this happy God, of Abba Jesus and Holy Spirit of love, like there's a stronghold of love that happens, like this tangible revelation of Jesus in you, like His actual presence, like. His tangible presence in every part of you. You're just like feasting on his love. You're you're beholding him as, as being happy love with his Abba Father in you. Like there's nothing but this happy love. And all you all you're beholding, all you know is this love about everyone and everything, including God. But it all comes from God. The stronghold of love that we can get into over oneness. God's holding us strongly. He's not judging us based on our shortcomings or our failures or our sins or, excuse me, but he, he's judging us righteous. He sees the best about us. And when we hear that good news, we experience it like he just loves to reveal it to us, even before we hear it sometimes too. But he always wants us to be hearing that and seeing that and. So, you know, experiencing, experiencing that. Um, and, uh, yeah, we definitely can always experience that when we have, you know, just, yeah, especially more when we see how happy he is and we, and we get this stronghold of love. Oh my gosh, look it up there. Looks so nice up there in the trees. Wow, it looks so nice over there too. <laughs> Sorry guys, I'm high, high on, high on Jesus' love. It's like, his love is always there. And if we could just, God does something with like the eyes of our heart, where it's like, he awaken, he opens them and he saturates it with his love. So we actually like discern him with our spirit, with our, in the eyes of our heart, the eyes of our mind too, becomes one with our spirit. It already is, but he's awakening us up to that oneness that we have with it in ourself and with him where we're totally whole we're connected in our heart we know him his love intimately and just we're always high it's a revelation in his highness under my shirt there if you guys want a shirt like that you can get them from uh oh i'll send you the link it's from Audrey and John Dutton, but I'll, I'll give you the link. They're, they're awesome. Gospel drinkers. You, you can check out Audrey's podcast. I'll put a link in the the description or comments or, or something for their stuff. And for Audrey's podcast, yes, that's what I was going to say. But uh, she has a podcast called Eat Me, Drink Me podcast. And it's really good. And I'm actually one... One of the ones that have a podcast on there. You should check it out. It's pretty good. I'm one of the first ones. It's called uh, something about fire. 
staring into the love fires with Audrey and Matt. Yeah, that's what the podcast is called. But yeah, when we stare into this love fire. And I know I'm talking fast just because, yeah, I'm running out of time on my phone here. Or memory for the length of time my video can be. But um, I have about a minute and a bit left. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's like when we stare into this love fire. And just don't look away. We just don't look away. Because we can be accustomed to looking away. Because we're looking at lack. We're looking at our circumstances that aren't lining up to paradise on earth. You know, really. But but Jesus is training us to always just gaze upon him. Even in the midst of bad circumstances and stuff. And he can he saturates us in the midst. He gives us his bliss. He gives us his blessing. And, you know, his, his bliss. He's always doing that, and just, it energizes us in every moment to, like, you know, not be shaken up by those things, but just be our true selves, which is a love like him, loving his love, loving each other, just being peaceful, being happy, just, you know. Anyway, thank you, Jesus, for imparting this revelation knowledge upon people that I'm walking in, and just whatever they're walking in, just increase it, Jesus. I thank you, Jesus. Increase the good. Increase, the, obviously, <laughs> increase the good, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. The impartation going forth through you guys of his presence. Hallelujah. <laughs> Love you. <laughs>